Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Sue. Today I'm super excited to do this unboxing with you guys. I actually haven't opened it yet. The box is right in front of me. It's open because this is actually gifted to me. This person actually opened it and I checked everything, I'm assuming, and then I'm brought it over to me super unexpected I have no idea at all so i'm super happy so thank you to whoever got this for me if that person is watching they know who they are so thank you again and if you guys are new to my channel my name is sue i do beauty luxury lifestyle all that good stuff a mixed combo of pretty much anything and everything so that is your jam hope you guys stick around and subscribe at the end of this video okay so let's jump right into it if you guys know when you guys order anything from Louis Vuitton also it always comes packaged kind of like this like a brown box and then there's a piece of thing that you can rip right here and then you open it up and you get inside the box that was say Louis Vuitton on there so they are quite discreet they will not show their name outside of the box if you guys are just curious you want to open it up looks like so and it says Louis Vuitton right there I actually know what it is already. I've seen it online. But let me unbox it and then you guys can see. I mean, I'm still deciding if I'm going to put it on the title of this video. So it's all in the air right now. But I do know what it is because, okay, a little backstory really quickly before we get into it. I know you guys are like, get to the unboxing. So this person actually tricked me into um, kind of saying that she wanted my um, advice or what I would recommend on like giving a small leather good to a special friend or person of that person. She kind of named some items for me and I said, like, oh no, not this one. Oh yeah, that one. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. I actually recommended this one because I said this is going to be like a nice classic one that would never go out of style. She was like, okay, cool. I'm going to get this one. And she did. And then obviously she brought it over a few days later. Yes. So... So you open it up, it looks like so. It is in this gorgeous, super pretty orange blue ribbon box. Is the receipt right here. So let me just double check. I always like to do this even though I did not order this item. But in terms of this car, exchange and return card, shipping label, you want to ship it back. And then it's got the little receipt right here. Um, obviously it's a, okay. This is like not the name of the item. That's so weird. Okay, let me just open it up and I'm gonna, I'm a little confused. So, because I know what she ordered. So she obviously did not open the box up because it's tape, I mean, it's ribbon and everything is still on. So let's just go ahead and do that together. Okay, so that's... And if you want to give this to anybody, you can always do that because that's what this little envelope is for it's got a little white card in it okay and i don't think she wrote anything on there let me just double check and it's not written it's just blank. let's see this feels like no she didn't i'm so con this feels exactly what it says on there but what she ordered was not the thing she, she i'm so confused anyways just open it up and she got me a you guys i actually have been wanting this for a while here it is this is a mini pochette and the monogram print that i have been wanting for so long oh my gosh okay so oh it's this made in france ah, let me just show you guys The card on here, it does say the mini pochette of this one. So I was like, wait a minute. We were going back and forth and she was supposed to get a wallet actually. So she was supposed to get the, I think it was the Victorine wallet. That was what she told me. <laughs> I did mention to her before that I really wanted this piece, but it was always out of stock. I kid you not, this was in my cart, not in my cart, in my wish list in the Louis Vuitton app for the longest time. I had it in there for three years, literally. Every time I refresh, I would never be able to get this little mini pochette. Just this year, you know, when they had all the price increases, I checked again and it was available. But then at that time, they had literally, not double this, but then this was, I think it was around like 300 something, like 310, right? And then it went up to 500 45 around that amount. I'm not sure how much it is right now. I think that is a price, right? Let me just double check real quick. 
So I just uploaded again, and yes, the mini pochette accessoire. This is currently retail at seven forty-five. That is insane. This used to be three hundred and ten dollars. Am I tripping? I'm pretty sure it used to be around three hundred, three and two hundred and ten dollars. This has gone up by so much. If this was what she was doing, she literally tricked me. I had no idea that she was. I was suspecting like a wallet, and I don't even really wear wallet. I mean, I would have loved the wallet too, but I've been wanting this piece for so long. You guys don't even know because I have the one of them being print and then I have the one in the Zor print and I always wanted to have this piece to complete the three sets. You know what I mean? Here is a close-up of the gorgeous mini pochette in the monogram. I am so obsessed. This is the other side and then there is that. Bottom. Everything looks perfect, you guys. So cute. And then right here, hopefully you guys can see. This is made in France. Do you open it up? The inside looks like so. And it's got the two little cards that always comes with. There is a date code. The date code is right there. There. So the date code on there says this one was made the fourth week of 2022. I brought out my bean one and here is the bean one. Look how cute they are. And then my other one which is the one I'm using right now. I like to use this one during the summer because summer is all about nice and bright stuff. It's in my little cute paper now but let me see. So this is my other one. This is the one in the Azure print. This is the winter collection. I forgot what year it is. But if I open it up and check the date code, I can probably tell you guys. This was in 2018. So this one with the little cute design right here that you guys see. This was in the 2018 winter collection. It's got all this pretty birds around. So I wasn't planning on doing a review in this video. It's supposed to be a surprise unboxing, but I thought why not do a little quick review for you, you guys. Across, this is about 5.75 inches. If you guys notice, there's this part that kind of pops out, right? It's made like that. It's not a defect if this is out like this. A little over three and a half inches. This bag is tapered. It's big here and it gets skinnier up there. So we'll measure both and about one inch and then on the top it is a little over half an inch i'm gonna go ahead and transfer everything from the other bag that i already have into this one i have my pen i have this little um i keep forgetting what this is called obviously you plug it in the wall and it comes with the wires so i can charge my phone when my phone is dying i'm gonna go ahead and take all of this out this is all of my gift cards credit cards this is a lot of cards you can't just fit this in a wallet i have exactly 20 cards right here movie tickets right here got some more here got a dollar bill my covid card band-aids louis perfume that i keep in there hair pins and a quarter here is a quick comparison of these two together you can fit this in here if you wanted to so you have your coins go everywhere let's put our perfume in there let's go ahead and fit all of the 20 cards in there I'm gonna put this pen in there. This is the small karagami, and you can probably fit this in there if you took this out. So we put that in there. Probably put the pen back in there. There we go. Okay. See how crazy this is? It's a small little SOG can fit so much, and you can just take this with you and just carry it like this. With the little chain, it's so cute, so dainty. You don't have to worry about the chain messing up because it connects like this. You could just hook it back on. Let me show you guys if you can put makeup stuff in it, right? So let's put my compact in there. I also got the perfume in there still. Here, liquid lipstick. It's a little deformed, but that's completely fine in my opinion. Now that I have shown you guys what this little cute thing can fit in it, let me just move on over to the Azure print again. But let me just do a quick little wear and tear on this bag since I've had it since 2018. Because this SOG was a pretty much a seasonal piece, and it had this amazing, really pretty painting, or I think they paint this 
on I just did not want to damage this piece I seen some pieces on the um, pre-love market it just did not hold up good at all because people just didn't take care of it they threw it around even on the purses or other items not just SOGs the pieces they just kind of just toss it around after a few years you guys this pretty drawing right here or artwork right here it is going to wear because it is only drawn on printed on however they do this um, I don't know how they get this on there but this will not look nice like this if you don't take care of it the back piece if you got this piece the original without the design it would look just like this all around look at it it's in really good pristine condition for being since 2018 hopefully you guys can see the corners I've taken really good care of the corners around here around here that's good on this side same thing it looks really really nice still here's a better up front view and zoom in of the painting it is so exquisite i am obsessed with this print i knew i had to have it originally i just wanted to get all three pieces of the mini pochette and just the original classic design basically with nothing on there but when this piece came out in 2018 i was all over i had to get it this piece right here, this tab, is not in vachetta. It's all just nice leather, so I didn't have to worry about it getting dirty. I did not have an insert or nothing for it at all. So if you look inside, it is quite dirty. You can see it's got some dirty dirt from coins. And then this side, you can see it's got some coin dirtiness right there. This is the tab right here. The date code. This is in vachetta. So it has patinaed a bit. This side is quite really nice still, no dirt. Now if you were to, for example, like this piece, right? This is the Abin print. This is obviously just in leather. It doesn't have a machete, so you don't have to worry about it getting dirty. I've taken really good care of this piece too. Let me see what year this piece was from. I got this piece in 2020 so it's not even been two years since I've had this piece you can see on the corners that the paint on there is still pretty good because usually with these pieces you would think it's indestructible but it actually is these corners they do wear off this side and then this side this interior is red so it's really hard to get it dirty I mean you can but it's you can't really see the dirt or so in it if you're wondering how this is holding up this is holding up all right so far nothing is ripping this can rip again this is just canvas pretty much plastic so you got to be really careful still don't just kind of yank it everywhere i do want to show you guys a little mark on this piece if you look at this side you can see that there's a little speck right there I was quite bummed about. I think this little speck came when I must have put it in a purse or somewhere and something rubbed off of it. I thought it was a white mark, but the closer I look at it, I realized that it chipped part of the dark paint off of it. Kind of bummed out about that, but it is what it is. One main reason why I love the mini pochette so much and I'm so obsessed with it is because they are, first off, they're really cute. They're small, you can throw them in your purses unless it's a little micro purse and obviously you're not going to fit it because micro purses are already pretty much the same size like these items it's just small enough but not too small where you can pack a bunch of stuff in it. your ids credit cards gift cards lotion perfume zip it up and then i'll throw it into my regular purse I'm wearing daily or into my backpack or even into my baby's diaper bags. If I'm not feeling like wearing something super big, I'm just on a get-go and then I would not even take a purse with me and I'll just take this with me and I would just carry my phone with me because I always have my phone with me anyways. I'll just hold it like this with the chain strap onto my fingers and then I'll hold it like this and just go out the door like this. I'm currently using this Zora print for now for summer and then when fall winter gets her I'm probably gonna switch it out to either one of these but I think I'm probably gonna switch it out I mean I think I might already switch this one out to this one just because I want to use it already it is so cute love everything about it especially in the monogram when it comes to small leather goods I think monogram looks so good with these small little pieces hopefully you guys enjoyed this small little quick unboxing that i did such a shocker a surprise but 
all in all i'm super happy leave a comment down if you guys have any questions at all don't forget to thumbs up this video and i will see you guys on my next video bye guys